In the complex world of social dealings, the skill to shape how people see things becomes very important in reaching one's goals. Uncovering the details of Law 21, act dumber than your target, seem less smart than they are, reveals the hidden moves used by clever tricksters over time to gain power over their victims. Mastering the movements of power and skill in planned misdirection paves the way to unlocking paths to success and achievement. This piece looks into the long-lasting wisdom hidden in the act of pretended ignorance, exploring stories from history that clearly show how well it works across different situations. Arthur Schopenhauer once said, no one likes feeling less smart than the next person. This feeling is at the heart of a trick as old as humans, playing the fool to deceive. History is full of tales of clever people who chose to act like they didn't know much to outwit their enemies. This episode looks into the art of seeming less intelligent than your target, drawing lessons from historical examples that showcase the effectiveness of this subtle but powerful strategy. 1. Make your victim feel smarter than you. In the records of deception, the Diamond Swindle of 1872 remains a legendary act of trickery carried out by two cunning prospectors, Philip Arnold and John Slack. These bold con artists managed to fool wealthy tycoons like Asbury Harpending and Baron Rothschild into investing in a fake diamond mine in the American West. Arnold and Slack's deception was a multi-layered scheme, but its core lay in their act of seeming like naive, simple-minded people similar to backwoods prospectors stumbling upon riches by chance. When mingling with the sophisticated financiers in cities like New York, the duo acted totally like country bumpkins, dressed poorly, and pretended to be amazed at the urban surroundings. This deliberate act of playing up their perceived ignorance caused the aristocratic tycoons to severely underestimate their intelligence. The wealthy marks, filled with arrogance, dismissed the idea of being outwitted by these apparent hayseeds, thus falling into the trap laid by Arnold and Slack. By fostering an illusion of intellectual superiority in their victims, Arnold and Slack ensured their marks felt gratified, building trust and friendship. This tactic lured the financiers into a false sense of security, leading them to invest millions into the supposed diamond mine. However, when the truth came out, it became clear that the whole venture was a carefully planned scam. This strategy not only highlights the power of underestimation in trickery, but also underscores the principle of building alliances and trust in the realm of deception. Acting less knowledgeable or capable cultivates a perception of vulnerability, drawing others closer and helping to form valuable networks and alliances. Thus. Through the subtle manipulation of perception, people like Arnold and Slack can navigate complex social landscapes, strengthening their support systems and advancing their agendas. 2. Infinite Ways of Playing the Fool In history, there are many tales of people who mastered the art of strategic trickery, using the act of seeming foolish to hide their true intentions. Take, for example, Otto von Bismarck, the Prussian statesman whose clever negotiation tricks have become legendary. In 1865, during negotiations with the Austrian Count Blohm, Bismarck set up a clever trick to secure a treaty favoring Prussian interests. The night before the crucial meeting, Bismarck engaged in a game of cards with Count Blohm, knowing well the Count's habit of judging character through gameplay. Contrary to his usual skill, Bismarck deliberately played poorly acting erratic and impulsive. Through this calculated display of incompetence, he crafted an image of himself as a reckless, unintelligent player, causing Blome to underestimate his strategic prowess. As the negotiations unfolded the next day, Blome, influenced by Bismarck's carefully crafted act, casually dismissed the treaty details, wrongly believing the Prussian as incapable of deceit. Little did he know, Bismarck's seemingly foolish antics were part of a shrewd plan to manipulate perceptions and secure a favorable outcome. 
This historical story serves as proof of the power of strategic trickery in shaping perceptions and achieving desired ends. It underscores the long-lasting wisdom of controlling narratives to one's advantage, showing how skilled people can use the act of seeming foolish to outmaneuver their enemies and emerge victorious in the game of politics and diplomacy. 3. When to switch to an air of authority. Making a potent strategy in the realm of power often hinges on the skilled manipulation of perception. One technique involves weaving a tapestry of feigned incompetence to cloak true intellect, a Machiavellian art of deception. However, the discerning strategist must recognize when to pivot, transitioning smoothly from an aura of naivety to one of authority. This delicate balance between appearing foolish and exuding confidence is paramount. An illustrative example of this dynamic is found in the story of Joseph Duveen, the renowned art dealer. Duveen's cunning was showcased when he encountered skepticism regarding the authenticity of a painting he had sold to a tycoon's daughter. At a social gathering, a young French art critic voiced doubts about the painting's origins. Rather than entertain the notion of potential fraud, Duveen chose to project unshakable confidence. In a display of supreme self-assurance, Duveen scoffed at the critic's concerns, asserting that numerous esteemed experts had already vouched for the painting's legitimacy. His booming, dismissive tone left little room for debate, effectively silencing the critic and compelling him to retract his allegations. Through the sheer force of his authoritative demeanor, Duvain managed to deflect scrutiny and preserve the illusion of authenticity surrounding the painting. This story serves as a poignant reminder of the power of projecting confidence and authority in the face of skepticism. By leveraging his commanding presence, Duvain not only shielded himself from suspicion, but also manipulated the perception of those around him to his advantage. In the intricate dance of power dynamics, the ability to smoothly switch between personas can be the difference between success and failure, allowing one to navigate the complexities of deception with finesse. In closing, always be aware of people's desire to feel smarter than others. By mastering ways to implicitly stroke that ego while hiding your own capable mind, you position yourself to exploit the opening created by your victim's arrogant condescension. Just don't get too convincing with the act of bemused dim-wittedness. You'll want to be able to shift gears when needed to appearing brilliant and self-assured. If you're tuning into this video till now, it shows you're someone who loves seeing things through to the end. That's awesome, because finishing what we start isn't always easy. So, big congrats to you for that, because most people don't finish what they start. Now I've got something important to share. We're currently accepting donations in the form of subscriptions to our channel. It won't cost you a dime, but it will mean the world to us. Your subscription fuels our confidence and motivates us to create even better content that can genuinely help people. So, if you believe in what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Together, we can make a real difference. Thanks for your support.